does something like this work when you're here? Who knew that love would be possible in a place like this? You know, I always thought love should be willful and mad and spontaneous. I always thought that love should keep you from finishing your... children? Do couples live together? Are there even couples? I think what they have is doing is sort of an angelic version of Match.com. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry to interrupt. But is everything all right? Yes, yes of, of course. course. Yeah. Certainly, Certainly fine. fine. <laughs> Are you sure? I sense you're a little uncomfortable. I can have that effect on people. Um, Say hell no. It was two separate thoughts. Hell question mark, no exclamation point, okay? I mean, I know he's omnipotent, but come on, come on. It's not like I hadn't read the brochure. So, God's a he. It's all perception. God is whatever you want him or her or it to be. There are people who think God is a pecan pie. <laughs> Where are we target? This all takes so much getting used to. I mean, you hear about heaven your whole life, but to actually be here, what if we do something wrong? Look, I'll let you in on something. There is no hell. Do you think God would create a place that awful? But isn't that one of the prime motivators for being good on your life? The way it works is, if you don't lead a good life, when you die, you just stay dead. The eternal dirt man, or, as George Carlin called, Big Kakarot. George Carlin? Is he here? Yeah, well, we told him there was one condition. He would have to lose the whole angry curmudgeon routine. Oh, it was getting embarrassing. There's that line in that movie, The Usual Suspects, the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. 
Well, he doesn't exist. So tell me, Kevin Spacey, who's the tricky one now? <laughs> Have you seen that movie? Oh, yeah. Todd watches 15 movies at a time. He loves it. Gives me a headache. Okay, the thing is, the thing is, um, we've been given the job of helping people on Earth to find love. And well, first of all, who knew that there would be jobs in heaven? <laughs> Secondly, we have found love with each other. We knew when you two got here that you had this skill, this sense of heart, shall we say. That's why we put you in the relationship department. But this job wouldn't be permanent. We like to move people around. So heaven is like a temp agency? Some people just aren't ready for heaven. I mean, they're deserving, but that earthly quality is still strong, and that's what you responded to each other. Well, so what do we do? I can send you back. I can send people back all the time. Didn't you notice the revolving door at the entrance when you got here? I thought you were trying to make it look like a really nice hotel lobby. <laughs> well, does that mean that we lose our, our, lose our chance at, at heaven? No, you'll be back. Provided you continue to lead good lives, the rules will still apply. What if we wanted to have a relationship here? Would that be possible? The longer you're here, the less things like that matter. You just sort of forget. I'm told I used to have a thing for Mary Magdalene, but now she's just another lady with a hairnet who works in the cafeteria. So if you send us back, would we be starting over from birth? Like reincarnation? No, 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 no. You'll pick up pretty much as you are right now. I mean, you won't remember any of this, but don't worry, we'll give you backstories. We'll meet, fall in love, have children. Children? Really? Should we send them to religious school? No, they're all crazy. Should we really homeschool them? Would you really want to do that to your child? Then what should we do? Just send them to a nice public school. Is there such a thing? Of course, you just gotta search for them, but they're out there. And keep your fingers crossed. You try to do that with kids anyway. What if we decide that we don't want to have children? Then don't. Bless the little children and all that. They're really not cost efficient. Oh, doesn't that go against your whole be fruitful and multiply thing? People have taken that the wrong way. I was being quite literal. So when you said be fruitful and multiply, you were talking about... Fruit math! <laughs> Eat a lot of fruit. It's good for you. And you should, people use math all the time. You know, I was thinking about saying be fruitful and subtract, but I didn't want to go negative. You know math. You're the shepherd and you're the flock. <laughs> oh, now this has nothing to do with sheep. It's for my martial arts class. It's a great exercise. So, uh, do you use that for cross training? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not funny, dude. So, <clears throat> would you really send us back? Sure. Heaven isn't for everybody, at least not at this point in your lives. Or after lives. So, how do we do this? Oh, well, you just go to the concierge desk. It's right next to the Ben and Jerry's. You tell them you want to go back, and then I said it was okay. You don't believe us? This is heaven. We'll believe anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Ace. <laughs> hey, be sure to get your hand stamps so you can get back in. never asked me if I wanted a nickname. I am not always sending people back. They weren't ready. And besides, they're good people. They could use more of those on Earth. So what's on the movie agenda? All the Harry Potter movies? And all the Matrix movies? And Lord of the Rings? Uh, that's okay. I think I'm, I'll be practicing for my class. Yeah, man.